this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica our body has an amazing defense mechanism against foreign bodies the immune system but why isn't the fetus rejected that is semi allogenic to the mother hello everyone this is ritu and today i'm going to discuss about why fetus is not treated as an antigen one could speculate that the innate immune system at the feto maternal interface undergoes less stringent selective pressures to ensure quick and efficient local protection against the infection while the adaptive immune system had to remain under full control to prevent rejection of the semi allogenic fetus there are a lot of factors contributing to the fetal maternal immune tolerance and i'll take you through them one by one first of them being the suppression of certain polymorphic genes at the trophoblast the major histocompatibility complex that is responsible for graft rejection at the adult stage fails to be expressed at the surface of trophoblast cells and it clearly fits with the ideas that the maternal immune system remains unaware of the foreignness of the fetus secondly the apoptosis of the activated fast bearing maternal lymphocytes that takes place at the feto maternal interface yes the trophoblast expresses this fast ligand and it contributes to placental immune privilege during the pregnancy as it kills the fast bearing maternal lymphocytes Thirdly the degradation of tryptophan contributes majorly to this fetal maternal tolerance the enzyme IDO which degrades tryptophan is expressed in syncytiotrophoblasts and macrophages during gestation in vitro macrophages suppress T cell activity due to degradation of tryptophan by IDO IDO activity appears to protect the fetus by suppressing T cell dependent inflammatory responses to fetal allo antigens since syngenic fetuses are not rejected after treatment with IDO inhibitor One of the major factor contributing to this tolerance is phosphocholination. Now what is this phosphocholination? Phosphocholination is a post translational modification which involves the addition of small heptanic molecule phosphocholine to the polysaccharide moiety of certain secretory glycoproteins. In the placenta a large number of placental polypeptides and proteins carry phosphocholine as a tissue specific post translational modification and suggested the presence of phosphocholine groups on placental secretory proteins and peptides may play a major role in maternal immune tolerance during pregnancy Phosphocholinated proteins have also been identified in filarial nematodes where they also showed inhibition of normal proliferative responses of both T and B lymphocytes in vitro. Regulatory T cells We all know these regulatory T cells keep a check on the unnecessary proliferation of T lymphocytes studies in mice have indicated that these T regulatory cells are essential 
during the first days of pregnancy even prior to embryo implantation in mice it has been postulated that factors which promote the expansion of t reg cells are contained in the seminal fluid itself isn't that amazing circulating human cd4 positive cd25 positive t reg cells increase throughout the gestation with a peak during the second trimester and then a subsequent decline postpartum that clearly indicates its sole role in the tolerance TH1 TH2 cytokine balance in pregnancy plays a pivotal role in maintaining this fetal tolerance. The best studied peripheral immune cells in pregnancy are T lymphocytes. Within this population there are two main subsets which are defined as helper T lymphocytes and cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Helper T lymphocytes are particularly important in the context of pregnancy as they affect the function of other immune cells by producing cytokines. Th1 produce tumor necrosis factor TNF alpha, IFN gamma and interleukin 2 which promote cellular immune responses while Th2 produce interleukin 4 interleukin 5, interleukin 9, interleukin 10 and IL-13 which promote humoral responses. Studies showed that granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor GMCSF, IL-3 and IL-10 enhanced fetal survival and promoted intrauterine growth while TNF alpha, IFN gamma and IL-2 had deleterious effects which led to fetal death. TH2 cytokines have been shown to inhibit TH1 responses, improving fetal survival and impairing responses against some pathogens. The TH1 TH2 paradigm stated that successful pregnancy is a TH2 phenomenon. Indeed, pregnancy is characterized by an increase in TH2 immune responses. TGF beta, another factor, plays a pivotal role in the peripheral immune system through mediating the acquisition of immune tolerance. TGF beta can inhibit T helper type 1 responses which may be detrimental to pregnancy and is an important regulator of NK cell behavior, down-regulating IFN gamma induced activation and inflammatory cytokine production. Last but not the least are placental exosomes. They have been recently discovered and are known to play an important role in maternal immune tolerance. So much have been discovered, but still there is a lot yet to be known. For more such amazing facts, keep listening to Biotechnica Podcast. Thank you.